sunburn. Oh my god. Did you hear about the new invention of sunscreen? What? What? Yeah, there's a commercial on YouTube. Here, I'll send it to you right now. Thanks. Thanks. Are you tired of working long and hard and getting the summer? But we have found your solution. Franz Greider, Benjamin Green, and Eugene Fuller have been working very hard and have finally found the solution. Hi! Hi, welcome to the Tanning Boutique. Well, I was out in the sun and I got a really bad sunburn. I was wondering if you Yeah, I was wondering if you had any products that could help me. You're in luck. The ancient Greeks rubbed olive oil on their skin, giving them a natural sunscreen, but just not an effective one. Ten years ago, in the 1930s, an American chemist named Milton Blake created a sunburn cream in his kitchen. This tested well and the Hamilton Laboratory started selling it. Six years later, though, Eugene Fuller, the founder of L'Oreal, invented sunscreen. Fuller's cream wasn't very effective at preventing sunburn, and the L'Oreal version didn't come close to providing the protection sunscreen is expect today. Wow, that's so interesting. Were Eugene and Milton the only two people who were involved in the discovery of sunscreen? Actually, no. Two years ago, Benjamin Green invented a very effective sunscreen. Green was trying to determine how to protect American GIs from, from the sunburn in the South Pacific. And finally, this year, 1946, Fran Schroeder invented the most updated version of sunscreen that we have today. Do you know any background information on Franz and how he came to his discovery? Well, Franz was a young chemistry student who suffered from severe sunburn, similar to you, while climbing the Pouze Moulin, a mountain in the Swiss Austrian border. In a small laboratory in his parents' house, he invented a product that would protect the skin against the effects of sun, a product that is now known as Pouze Moulin. Wow, look at that product. How do you apply it? Well, it is very simple. You put a desired amount in your hand and rub it evenly on the exposed skin and it helps you. Wow, that what an adventure for Franz. So basically, sunscreen is a chemical solution which is classified by the Food and Drug Association as a drug? Yes, that is correct. Sunscreen absorbs the ultraviolet radiation before it can harm the skin. This is such an amazing invention. I read it in a magazine article that it predicted that Americans will spend $525 million on sun protection products in the 1990s. Sun protection products are very essential, and they are necessary for any person to live a healthy lifestyle in the sun. Yeah, a healthy lifestyle is really important right now, especially because of the Great Depression. Did you hear about what happened to Ethiopia, China, and Poland? Yeah! I heard that they were invaded and we might have to go into a second world war. Where did you hear, hear all of this? On my radio. With the invention of the radio and the invention of sunscreen, our society is able to become more knowledgeable of the human body and what we must do to remain healthy. People are now starting to understand the effects of ultraviolet rays and the effects on their body. As seen through Benjamin Green's time in the World War II, sunscreen was extremely beneficial and needed. Why was sunscreen so important in World War II? Well, Miami pharmacist Benjamin Green prepared a red jelly-like substance in his own home, home oven. After testing the sticky formula on his own bald head, Green supplied it to the soldiers in the World War II. This was known as the Red Vet Pet. The veterinary petroleum-based compound was less effective than today's sunscreen. So basically it was used to protect the soldiers during this time. With now knowing the effects of sunscreen, I will definitely be more careful when it comes to being out in the sun in the future. Speaking of the future, scientists are going to be able to continue to search for more effective ways to protect the human body against the sun. One of their main goals is to even develop a sunscreen pill. Thank you so much for your information and time. I'll definitely wear sunscreen from now on. Are you going to wear sunscreen? Cut. Um, summer in, in the sun. Wow, that's interesting. Were you Jean and Mel? Franz. Franz. Is it Franz or Franz? Like Franz. <laughs> Franz was a young. Franz! <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
Check! <laughs> 